So day one at my desk, I've learned a couple things and I've got my cleaning system down pretty good. So I clean a little spot on this section right here, give it a wipe, and then I just kind of hose it down again so that it's sitting there doing its own little disinfecting thing. And this process requires nail wipes. So I'll grab a few nail wipes. I'm finding that nail wipes don't absorb a lot of RTU. Like I can put a good amount of RTU in. So every item that comes out of my desk as I'm using it in the service, I set it onto the left side of my desk so that everything that I use that is in this area, I know has been touched and needs to be disinfected prior, prior to being put back into its drawer or on the shelf. Nail wipes, for the same reason that they work really good on nails, I can saturate a nail wipe with a lot less product than I can saturate an entire cleaning cloth. So after I've cleaned, if you feel like it's getting dry, basically, and you start to notice that there's no juice left in it, either you should have had more the first time around, or you need to just get a new one. But I give them each a wipe. And then that completes the cleaning phase of my process. All my jars, but then I also used my hand cleaner. So I like to give that a scrub. And I used the cream foam. Not a scrub. So it's into this initial staging area, which means that I can now do an initial clean of this area over here. And after I wiped it, give it a little spray again. And then I need a new cloth and give everything a quick dry. because we have to remember that disinfecting is always a two-step process. So the first step is cleaning, and after cleaning happens, then drying has to happen. After drying happens, then the wet contact time needs to happen. So give everything a dry. And then I just kind of give it a, a mist from all the different directions. And now that can sit for three minutes and do the wet contact time while I go around and clean the rest of my desk. But then I can wipe all my stuff with just two little nail wipes. That gives it a really good clean. And uh, takes me about three minutes to disinfect the rest of my desk. So that seems to be a a good little time frame too. Hopefully that will, for any of those that haven't started yet or that have started and are wondering how do they get this process down so that it's feasible and doable in between appointments, find it really, really easy. I don't have any dust on my desk shield. And with my, my dust, I haven't noticed any dust flying on it. So unless we're licking it, I don't think it's going to need to be wiped down every single client. If somebody's touching it, then that would be the case that we would need to disinfect it. But nobody is touching it. And if you don't have a straight cord on your nail machine, 
really, really need to get one because the straight cord makes it so easy to disinfect your e-file. Highly recommend it. If you don't have it, plan to get one soon because cleaning that curly cord is going to be a nightmare. So then I will make my way around and clean my UV lights on the other side. Oh yeah, one more little tidbit. Sorry. Is my brushes. And same thing, I'm using a nail wipe. Same thing with brushes, I'm using a nail wipe saturated with RTU. So after I use my brush, it either gets a dry wipe or a cleanser wipe. And on the bristles and the handle gets an RTU wipe. And then I hold on to it by the RTU wipe and stick it back into my brush holder. And that way I know that that brush has been cleaned and then I can just pluck those little disinfecting wipes off um, before the next client. Happy cleaning. It feels amazing in here. You guys have a great week of nails next week.